Yeah. What is good? It's your boy Cadillac Jackson, season three, episode six. And for the people that don't like seasons, it is episode 20. And if you're other watching other shows, ain't nothing over there. Fly. <laughs> okay. The seasons, the seasons why we're here. The seasons, let's be clear, if you don't like it, turn away. Now to the professor. Well, I ain't singing. <laughs> I ain't rapping. I was not prepared for that. So we'll just do what I do best. It's your man, Be a Jedi, a.k.a. the Black Alex B. Keaton, a.k.a. Shupak Shakur, a.k.a. the Boss Kick Ross, a.k.a. the Notorious K.I.X., a.k.a. Iron Nike Tyson, and the AKA that matters the most, Jack Swagless. This is Talking Kicks. This is season three, episode six. We in the building. Hi, I, yeah, yeah. How you doing, people, man? We back up in here, man. This is this should be a good episode. We are going to make a serious effort to let y'all go home, go over your side chick house, go over that baby that you don't know if it's yours or not. We're going we're gonna to try and get you out of here on time so you can make those appointments. I know the last three weeks, we've kept y'all well past our time. And we're going to try and we're gonna try and be right this time. We're going to try. But that's like extra. That's like going through the drive-thru and getting the extra set of fries. But like if you go through the drive-thru and, and the fries spill over, that's one thing. But if they give you a whole other bag of fries, we've been giving them a whole other bag of fries. We got to cut back on the fries. But they're not complaining. They ain't got to complain. I'm complaining. We lose the recipes, <laughs> son. We lose the recipes out here. All right, all right. Let's holler at the kick talkers. KB Fresh Kicks, kick down the door first. Appreciate you for coming through. Gabriel Kicks 23, what's good, brother? Laid back 09, what's good, pimp? OG Kicks is in the building. Jermaine Manning's in the building. What's going on, fam? Q the Queen's in the building, OG. Royals. <laughs> <laughs> Cadillac Jackson. Hey, Cadillac. Yes, sir. Like the damn video. This podcast is culturally biased. It is. It is. <laughs> Trey Jackson's in the building. What's good, brother? Kyle Park, 81. One of my favorite names. What's going on, pimp? Uh, we got uh, the talented mister. What's going on, bro? B Frank is in the building. B Frank kicks. GN is in the building. Hey, there goes the code from Footage Society. Make sure you go to Footage Society. Use our code, talking kicks, T A L K I N K I C K S. And you will get 10% off your order online. Make sure you check them out. Black Ass African, the original favorite name in the show. What's good, brother? Thank you for making it through. We appreciate you. We know your bedtime is about 6 o'clock, so thank you for rocking with us. Uh, <laughs> Dunn's Kicks in the building. Make sure you check them out. The fellas on Saturday, Saturday Night Live. It is Dun Dun. It is Pop Pop Lewis on Pop Pop Lewis Cave Channel. It is, help me out, people. I'm having a brain. 804 King of Phones. 804 King of Phones and Jays. And the last person that I'm not remembering right now. The struggles, a.k.a. Piano Guy. Thank you very much. My brain hurts. This is why we need to cut back on the time. Uh, Buckeye City Souls in the building. What's good, brother? J.C. Johnson is in the building. Hey, let me go back. Buckeye City Soul. Monday Midsoul. Catch them on Mondays at 7 o'clock Eastern time, right? 8 o'clock Eastern time, 7 Central. God damn. Uh, who else we got in here? Let me scroll down the list because my screen froze. This is your mind doing drugs. I wish it was. It'd be more fun that way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think that's everybody that I see in here right now. If I missed you, charge it to the, to the head and I'm heart. Um, go ahead and hit that like button if you like the video. If you don't like the video, don't like it. It's okay. But if you don't like it, let us know why so we can be better and become your favorite podcast if we're not that already. Now that we got that out of the way. Okay. So Trey Jackson said what I was going to talk about first. The fire coming from the foot on the Instagram picture for my TK Hump Day. Oh. So I was watching part of the Monday Midsole, and I saw that there was a comment talking about, uh, I think it was the Dornbecker 8s. And they said, you can't take a bad picture in Dornbecker 8s. And I think it was uh, Polos and Jay said, well, I, yeah, you can. I've seen some. I can name some right now. And my immediate thought was not that he was hollering at me because I know my pictures are trash. I don't care. though. That's the best I'm going to do. Like, that's the most committed I'm going to do. What you see on my Instagram is the most committed I'm going to be to my shoe pictures. I'm not creative enough. I don't have the, the camera. I don't have the time. I, I'm not, I, don't, I don't do it that seriously. Props to everybody else who does. But my thought was, why not just go and do some ridiculous shit? 
So I found this app. I put the smoke on the picture, and I thought everybody was gonna laugh with me. Everybody's like, "That's dope." I said, I, "See, I don't know the code. That's why I'm Jack Swagless. I don't know the code to this stuff. I don't know the code." Uh, but thank you, Trey. You know, for hollering that out. Uh, Hop Dog is in the building. Hop Dog eighteen. Appreciate you, fam. And uh, yeah, so let's get into the show this week, fellas. Do we have any other business we need to tend to? No, sir. Let's keep it rocking and no, rolling. Let's get into it, man. Uh, hump Day Heat. OG. Uh, you have to see my Hump Day Heat on Instagram. Um, I'm in a new position in my day job, and I was in a bow tie suit because I was working for the director today. So I had on my uh, work shoe uh, heat today. So no heat. You don't need to see this. If you really want to see these cheap loafers, just go to the Instagram. You'll, you'll see it there. I like to know what the chat is wearing. Uh, all, all my kick talkers, man, let us know what you were wearing. Post it up in the chat. Cadillac Jackson, I feel like he goes out of his way on Wednesdays to be extra disrespectful. Mm -hmm. um, I kept it light. What, what did you have on today, Cadillac? I kept it light. I, I, I broke out the, the KD6s. No, I'm sorry, KD7s. Okay. So yeah, I kept it light. I kept it light. He kept it light. But you probably had on a teal shirt to match it perfectly and some shit. I like did. That. <laughs> <laughs> but, the, but the teal fitted. No, nah, I didn't have it on the fit today. Didn't have it. Ah. Oh, I, you I was did. you was letting the wavies breathe. I sure was. The yeah, ocean. Sure was. Do, you, do, you, do you still count the breaststrokes? No, I don't count the brush strokes, but there's a certain brush that I have to buy. Sometimes I have to buy that Annie 8162. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, you need that. He's, he, he says you need that. I like that. I like that. I'll root uh, for you right now. <laughs> <laughs> Dre Day Kicks is in the building. What's going on, brother? Post them up. We got Doran Becker Sevens on deck for KB Fresh Kicks. Uh, Marvin the Martian Sevens. Duns. That's, that's a nice look, man. Um, I missed out on those. I couldn't figure out if I want them or not. Now they're gone, and I feel like I want them. Every uh, once in a while, I see some pairs pop up. You know? Yeah, they, they pop up every once in a while, but you know, the outlet had them sitting for like ever. And then I was like, yeah, I'm going to wait till they go lower. And then when they went lower, they were gone. Uh, alternate fours, Dre Day Kicks. I still need to wear mine, but that's definitely a dope shoe. Uh, church shoes every day for me, Q to Queen. I know the corporate Q to Queen. She got to have on them loafers, the little slip ons. You know, I appreciate that. Uh, the kicks in the aforementioned picture with the smoke coming from the front that y'all seem to like. I really would like to know why y'all like that picture. I thought it was corny as fucking funny, but all right. If that's the cheat code, then I found it. Um, I had on the flu games. The flu games. Ooh, the wait, actual those are, those are the new buck flu games. Those are the new, yeah. Then, you know. Oh, you, you dirty, you dirty bastard, you. I actually, I'm still having a hard time appreciating this shoe. Like, I almost sold it and gave it away. Like three or four times. I don't know. Because I like the leather ones better. I just like the leather ones better. And then I had them. Look at Duns. Those are real flu games. Um, I had the leather ones twice. And I got one and I sold it immediately. Because it was $270. I wasn't going to miss out on that money. Um, and then I had the other pair. And then, of course, life kicks you in the ass. Oh, you're going to sell it for $270? Here's some shit you got to handle. And I had to sell them for retail. <laughs> so now I have no leather flu games. Um but yeah, uh, yeah, the suede was KB. You right about that? I like. Uh, who else? you do? Yeah, I got I got a pair of them, but mine's I was bullshitting in them one day and met a metal fence that did not like my flu games and hmm. caught that bad stuff on on the side of them and yeah, we can we can talk because you were at thirteen and I were at thirteen. True. We could, we could probably make some things happen. You know what I'm saying? We could probably make something happen. Shop talk. Uh, shop, talk. <laughs> shop talk. We talk about that. Uh, who else we got on here? I saw somebody else mention another shoe. 2000 All Star Questions. That's what Black Ass African had on feet. Mm. Um, I want to let y'all know now. We already had it penciled in. We're looking ahead just a little bit. First episode of season four, our guest will be Black Ass African. We've been wanting to have him on as an actual guest, not just. Uh, helping out the show. Want him to be on his actual guest. This dude has a lot of knowledge and a lot of vintage kicks that y'all need to see. And uh, we can't wait to have him on the show. So that's next season, episode one. Let y'all know that's popping. 
Uh, I didn't know if we, we got cleared for season four. Wow. That was, well, that we was some news right there. Well, we didn't, but when we do, that's the guess. You know what I'm saying? You know how to do that? Like When we return <laughs> next week. Like, what happened to the next season? Sorry. There is no next season. <laughs> but you <laughs> promised. There is no next season, son. If it doesn't happen, it's because Black Ass African was on it, and we had some legal issues. Uh, <laughs> Big Hurt is in the building. What's going on, brother? Uh, yeah, somebody just talked about his Mocha 3. So y'all know who Black Ass African is. Make sure y'all check him out. He does have a YouTube channel by the same name. You can click on his name and then go to his channel, like the video, then come the fuck back. We'd appreciate it. Um, <laughs> the Custom Kang is what they calling him. I like that Big Hurt. The Custom Kang. Now, for obvious reasons, we can't really call you that name officially. We kind of got a guy, Des Customs, that hangs out with us. We got to stay in his good graces. So, if you're the Custom Kang, you be the Custom Kang B, or, you know, no disrespect to your skills. We just got to keep our relationships tight. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Um. So, pickups this week. OG's got one. Caddy, how many you got? Two. Two, and I've got three. So two weeks in a row, I got more pickups than these guys. You I don't know out what's there happening. putting in that work. <clears throat> I don't know what's happening. Slowly, Deacon Discount is losing his discount. No, I got to be anointed. <laughs> and it's Help coming, me, Bishop Hate Beast. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> I was yeah, telling I like you that Bishop Hate Beast. <laughs> I was Bishop telling you, Marco. I was telling Caddy on the Marco that this last week or so, last two weeks, has been my most solid run of pickups of shit that I actually wanted, that I cop shit that I needed, and I got a good deal on all of it. I think I only paid retail for one shoe that I picked up this week. Everything else was lower than retail, and I got some good deals. But they weren't necessarily the discount trade. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It is what it is. Uh, so s- stop it, Collar Park. Get out the background. There's just more boxes. I'm just sliding the boxes over. Shit. Um, <laughs> OG, save me. What did you pick up this week? I can't, I can't save you, man. You save were me. In that work. Okay, so actually, quickly, um, what I got on was a pickup this week. Um, this yeah. was, um, let me Early lock it ability. in so I can, there. So, um, if you're from the DMV, you know that we don't say Maryland. Merlin. Say Merlin. So shout out to uh Merlin PGC. They had a, a actually a giveaway over the holidays, and uh I was a winner. And because I guess they felt gratuitous and it took a while, I got not one but two. I must dope. Got the nice M on the sleeve there. So, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, that came today. Shout out to uh, Merlin, M-E-R-L-I-N-P-G-C. Check them out on the IG if you like what you see. So, now it's back to my lower third. Uh, the shoe pickup. I, really, I just want to say that I'm really proud of OG for closing the lower third, getting the full screen, and putting it back. That's... Y'all don't understand the struggle. That's <laughs> you're on your way. You're the next Lenny Bruce. <laughs> so I'm just gonna let this speak for itself. Oh, you riding motherfucker! If I would have oh, known that was the one, he would have went last. Dirty motherfucker! You, you dirty motherfucker! Oh, you some of my. Mm. Okay, uh, OG for the people that are still in the car on the way to their side chick house. What shoe do you have? This is the. Free throw line three with the Nike on the tail and the stock X. You know, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Mm. That's that's a day. That's day. You should have went last. I see Caddy and dipped out. I sh- you know what? I'm going to OG. This is your show. Have fun. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's been so great to talk with you. Tonight we're going to have an abbreviated show because my hosts have my co-hosts have fuck what he's saying. <laughs> just leave me in the lurch. So you know, right now we're just gonna enjoy this. Shout the show out to is my culturally mom. biased. And um <laughs> I'll just sit here like this until they come back. 
Um, and let me let me see what's going on in the chat. I know somebody in the chat got these. I'm not the only one with these. I know I know Buckeye has it because he has it. <laughs> OG Kick said I just hit the thumbs down button. <laughs> <laughs> For for well, anyone who didn't understand why we why we got OG on that on our uh, top pickups last year video, this is why. What he's doing right now is why he gets what he gets. That's why. Mm -hmm. That's why. Uh, KB Fresh Kick said he has them. Black ass African says hate 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 hate. Uh, Warrior Blood says the disrespect. What's going on, Warrior Blood? Mm -hmm. The disrespect. Yeah, but but Black ass African has. 88s so you know what i'm saying that's kind of like yeah i'm not episode one of season four yes i'm not doing no pickups <laughs> i'm not buying shit that way yes sir um caddy would you like to go next you get to follow no. that up thank you <laughs> no caddy follow it up i, I have a box <laughs> What's in the box, sir? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> All right. So the first thing I got is an assist from my big brother, Beer Jedi. Gang, 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 gang. No. Got the Michigan. Be true to your school. Dove in the leather. The leather on these is immaculate. It's so, the leather. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. Appreciate that very much so. Moving right along. The second is a pickup from Image. Oh, that's a great store. There's a bag back there. Yeah. 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 Got them preludes, finally. The level oh, of disrespect is just gone oh exponentially. God. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Um, you going to pull out free throw lines and talk about my level of disrespect? Wait, wait. Preludes. Chat, who's more disrespectful? We talking about comment below. preludes. Who's more disrespectful, chat? Caddy. Wait, leave your comments. Yes, Caddy. This is, this is not disrespectful. That's a nice looking shoe. How's it feel? Um, it, 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 It's very, very comfortable. Uh, What's mm. that word I'm looking for? Um, comfortable. Lavish. lavish. <laughs> yeah, you're living lavish in your cubbies with the snakes. Feel every piece of this disrespect. <laughs> See? That's what they say in the chat. The, the damn disrespect level went up. What's going on, piano guy? Sneaker struggles in the building. Hit that thumbs up. I appreciate you, brother. My shoe game tight all day, all night. What's going on, fam? I don't see a lot of pickups this week. People was quiet, huh? Mm -hmm. People was quiet this week. I understand there wasn't a lot of heat coming out. Sneaker you know Dome, aka Shoe Freak. Uh, uh, we hear you. You know, uh, we, we we you send it, we'll rock it. Hey, that's what's up. If somebody want to send us some stuff, that's cool. I yes, sir. I'm honored. Thank you. So we are gonna go ahead and get into the lace up. Mm -mm. No, we not. No, we not. No, we not. No, 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 no. Oh no, Bishop Hype Beast. <laughs> I, I tried. I believe it's time for your sermon. Correction. Uh, We're not going into wait, wait, wait. So. so, ladies and gentlemen of the Talking Kicks Mission Baptist AME Kojic <laughs> Cultural Center. Well, uh, before I let our guest speaker go, um, we like to say he was the deacon of discount. Yes, sir. Uh, and he was giving y'all the good word, but his level of disrespect has risen. So after this, this song from our music of ministry, <laughs> well, the next words you will hear are from our beloved Bishop, Bishop Hypees. The hype is coming soon. The hype is coming soon. Get it ready, get it ready. Here comes the hype. Amen, amen, amen. Yeah, amen. Praise God. I shout out on Nana. I shut up on a Honda. For those of you who are old enough to know what this reference is, 
I have sinned against you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so about last night, yeah. Um, like I said, <laughs> the last I know. D, just let me stall me out, Dre Day. Okay, so the last, like I said, last two weeks, I I am known to buy some kicks and return some kicks because I had a moment. Um, I haven't had a moment in two weeks. It's been straight fire stuff that I wanted to get that I said I wanted to get, and I was able to get all of it. Um, so I we'll start with the, we'll start with the easiest kind. This AME Church of God in Christ. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start with the earlies. I had to go ahead and get these. I missed out. I stalled out. This is the uh, the royal blue. Thirteens. Well, uh, when they dropped, I said I wanted them, and I missed oh out on this cup because you know I wear a twelve and a half. Mm. That's my actual size. I, I said when they got a twelve and a half weight, I'm good. They and got. When I went back and looked, all they had was a ten and a fourteen. So I said, "Fuck!" Thought I missed out. OG brother, OG hit me up. That, actually, this whole pickup is is thanks to my soul brothers. OG texts me on the way to the gym. And said, hey, they got a restock. I pulled over and made the purchase. Secured the bag. And these are dope. If you haven't seen these in hand, that blue is beautiful. So I don't, I'm not really tripping off of paying the full retail. Um, I got them. I like them. Very glad to have those in the collection. Now, the next two. Well, uh, I will go with the one that I got from New York. That image. And while you see back there on the top of the, the case, uh, when Caddy went and got his pair, he got a pair that I've been looking for. And I've been looking for this shit for a year. Not that it's hard to find, but it's hard to find at a good price. <laughs> you got you queuing something up for me? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Bastard. <laughs> you bastard. Oh, I feel a phrase break coming on. Hallelujah. Can you feel it? Can you feel the hype beast? Can you feel the hype beast moving through the room? I can't Can stand feel it. Him. Can you yeah. feel it? Catch it. Catch it. Catch it. Catch it. I can't stand these bastards. We ain't no season four. Ain't no season four. Uh, these are the Spizike Jordan Sixes. These are not dead stock, and these were less than 150 bucks. Um, box the whole nine image NY Cadillac Jackson. Thank you to the plug. I've been looking for this shoe, and every time I see it, it's 280 or better in a lot worse condition than this. And I just wasn't paying that much for it, but I was able to find these in a 12 and a half. J -Day for kicks 150. In. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad to have these. These will be on foot tomorrow. These will be on foot tomorrow. Thank you, Cadillac, for securing that bag. For Let the congregation say amen. Now, Black Ass African took a trip to Atlanta, was kicking around some of the shops. And I may not have even mentioned it on this episode, but my soul brothers know how much I wanted this fucking shoe. <laughs> and I kept pump faking. I saw a pair for 260. I pump faked. I said, nah. I saw another pair for 200. I pump faked. Nah. My dog hit me up and said, yo, they got these for the low. I finally got my flints. I finally got my flints. I would tell you the price, but the price might get me kicked off the show. Let's say this wasn't Deacon discount approved, but it was damn close. It was like it was damn close. Um, they need a cleaning, some new laces and shit. But this is, bruh. Oh, I can feel the hype beast moving through the room, <laughs> bruh. These you bad boys, the hype beast moving through the room. <laughs> <laughs> when he sent me the picture, I said, oh, I got to have them. I got to have them. When God just um, bring you flinch, you just got to praise them. <laughs> hey, look, bro. Right there, that's that's a run. 
That's and I got one coming next week that I was looking for that I got for Deacon discount price, and I'll talk about that. Um, this run right here, these two weeks. Hey, I, I don't even know what it is, but I'm being blessed finding the stuff that's for the good prices. OG Kick says, see you next season. I'm gone. <laughs> we got one more episode. I'm, this I'm with you. I'm with you. Matter of fact, let me turn off my lights right now. <laughs> let me give you the part that is disrespectful. The only one that costs more than $200 is the new one, the Royal 12. The other two were less than $150. i will say that. No, I'm going to tell you what was disrespectful. I am the group troll. That's my name. That's what they call me. I'm always trolling my brothers about something. So when Black brought this shoe up on the Marco, I was doing something and I came to it later. And I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> and I was like, yo, bro, what's good? He's like, oh, sorry, OG. Uh, <laughs> Beard got to you. And Beard is kind of like the unbox <laughs> app of Talking Kicks because he wears like more than one size and it was a size that i could wear too so i said hey man you know if it, if it doesn't work out for you you know just let a brother know I, you could just, you could just sit him right over here no harm no foul so he got and i was gonna do that on the strength because i could have put him on ebay and made a profit that's how low those shoes were Go ahead, OG. So he gets the box and he gets on Marco and he goes through all of this and does everything but says, the shoe just don't fit. And at the last second, just like on those damn TV shows that you hate, they go, it fits. Sorry, you can't have it. Nah, it wasn't, it wasn't even that. I would tell you, it was like he got on there. He was like, so... I, I tried on the shoe. I tried it on. And um and the shoe fits. And he changed the voice on the Marco. It was like, and the shoe fits perfect. God, oh gee. God. I'm keeping this. Thank you, black. This is my shit. <laughs> the whole <laughs> award of the year. Oh. I, I love you. I'm happy for you, man. Oh, Jesus. Man, was yeah, that's, it was it was hilarious, but I did feel some kind of way for about five minutes. It's the magic of wearing a 12 and a half. Usually your shoe is going to be too small or too big. And I've been able to find 12 and a half, and that's a 12. And I never tried a 12 in the, in the 13, but I was like, for that price, send them to me. If it doesn't work, I'll just sell them. And I got them on, and oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect, bro. I guess it was another fat foot dude that had him before that. But uh, I appreciate you for stretching that shoe out because that boy fits perfect. Fits lavishly. <laughs> What's up, oh, T-Real? Oh, Lord. Hey, T-Real. Oh, Lord. Pop, Pop, Lewis. What's going on, brother? Yeah, so that was that's a run, man. I I, I got one more shoe coming next week, and then I'm going to shut it down for a minute. I'm going I'm to sit my ass down. That's it. <sighs> Sit my ass down, man. We Are y'all ready for the lace up? Thank you, Bishop, for that sermon, for that word Amen. for the day. Lace up. Lace up topics this week, man. Like I said, we're going to try and get y'all home at a good time. We might even be early this week. We might even be early. We want to make sure that we get time to talk to y'all as well. We're going to get the buzzer on deck. Make sure we get this time on the clock. That's just the start. If you ain't been around here before, that's not the end. That's the start. That's how the app works. I can't help it. Look at this. Sneaker struggles. I'm going to make you spend your check for the entire two weeks. Look, piano <laughs> guy, it's not me. I'm telling you the prices, man. You got the... When you hang with these cats. Oh, oh, so now it's our fault. Look, Caddy just got a pair of shoes for the low. $20. <laughs> okay. $20. I learned it from watching you, okay? <laughs> the auction bid will say 200 Caddy says, offer him 110 <laughs> My God damn, Caddy, how could you be that way? And the dude says, I'll take it. Yo, what the hell happened? I learned it from watching you. It's a Jedi right? man trick, man. I learned it from watching you. Look, I seen Cadillac on the roll of comments in my... Yeah, exactly. 
You know what's going on, KB? That's how you got to do it. <laughs> I got the shooters. <laughs> <laughs> bang, bang, bang. CB rolling through like, just window shopping. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> Still available? No. Right. No. I'm out. <laughs> right. I'm <laughs> gone, motherfuckers. Um, so the lace up this week. Let's get into this. Um, we have seen lately that NCAA has been under fire for the way that they handle the college athletes. Um, LeBron even talked on it. And <clears throat> the fallout has been that there is talk of the NBA setting up a G League so you can go from high school now and go play in the G League instead of going to college. Now, we've talked about this a lot on the college aspect, who's winning and who's losing. I want to hear Caddy talk about this idea. What do you think about the NBA doing a G League? Is the NCAA the problem here, or is the NBA the problem for using college as their minor leagues? What's your take on this shit? Um, <clears throat> the colleges are the problem, and here's why. When it comes to student athletes, colleges – are not going to find these kids, are not bringing these kids to school to learn. They're bringing these kids to school to make them money. And these kids are not getting nothing in return. You're making, for example, the top 10 highest paid coaches in college basketball. Mm -hmm. Seven of those schools are sponsored by Nike. Two of them are sponsored by Adidas and one by Under Armour. So you're talking about the money that they're getting for bringing in a player like, let's say, Zion Williamson. Mm -hmm. You bring him from high school into Duke. And he throws down some of those dunks you've seen on YouTube or on Instagram. What do you think people are going to do? They're going to buy those jerseys. They're going to get the sneakers that he wears. And it's going to bring in millions, if not billions of dollars into this school. And God forbid they win a championship. And guess what? Mike Krzyzewski gets a check for compensation for all that. And what does Zion get? A scholarship to the school that he's not even going to use because he's probably taking classes that he is not even interested in. He's getting some warm-up suits and a couple of pairs of PEs. He's not getting food. He's getting a stipend for food, okay, but he's not getting money that he can use to send home to his parents. He's not getting any of that. They're going to make millions off of him. So why not skip all that, come to the NBA G League, like a minor league, just like baseball, and then you come up into the pros. Because in all honesty, these these schools are using these students. You think about Duke, the prime example, John Calipari, Mr. One and Done himself. Yeah. Derrick Rose, Anthony Davis. Kyrie only played, what, six college games? Yeah, for Duke, he played, what, 11 college games to the point he got in an argument with Kobe where he was like, you didn't even go to – he's like, you didn't go to college. You went, to, you, was, you went straight from high school. And Kyrie was like, you went to high school. <laughs> he was like, you played like two college games. He's like, I played yeah. 11. Yeah, well, that's not – you know, it is what it is. I, I know that – I want to hear what OG has to say on this. I feel like in this whole situation, I like the idea of modifying the G League. I do feel like the NCAA – is being used as a pawn in the corruption. I think the corruption is the NBA. It's not NCAA. Um, because NBA is the one that said that they've got to go to college to play. So NCAA was set up the way it was set up, which is some fuck shit anyway. But mm. it wasn't the corrupt part of it. It was stupid. I didn't like it. But it's not causing you to go to college. You didn't have to go to college because of NCAA. NBA said you have to go to college. And I feel like the NBA now is trying to weasel its way out of the conversation when y'all set up this fuck shit rule. This is y'all's problem. Um, I would say that if you want to go straight out of high school and go to the pros, whether it's G League or to uh, the pros, that's on the coaches being able to scout better and pick better talent. You can't keep picking Darius Miles or fucking Kwame Brown and be mad that it don't pan out. That's your fault. 
Now you're not gonna be lucky and pick LeBron every time, but you got to do your your due diligence. Um, K- uh, OG, go ahead. Yeah, go, go ahead, Kevin. I'll let OG go first. No, go ahead, bro. Now I was gonna say, can you imagine if somebody like LeBron had went to Ohio State? And then and then what? So they would have got a championship uh, if he didn't get hurt. And then what? And then went to the league. He he, he would have lost out a year of money. Yeah. He would have lost out a year of money, but think about all the money that went into Ohio State. Think about, well, yeah, it they would have changed. Kept... It would have changed their recruiting uh, future. Yeah, it would have changed their recruiting future. I, the only thing, other thing I can say about that is that if LeBron had gone to an HBCU, oh my God, if we could have got LeBron to go to Howard or some shit like that, nigga. <laughs> mm. Go ahead, OJ. Um. We know your stance on the education part, but what do you think about the monetary change in, in the G League, if that's what it is? I mean, in these in these times where, you know, everybody's making money but the people that are playing the games, you know, something has to be leveled out. The reality of it is I don't think it's ever going to be leveled out to the point that it is equitable for the student or the player. You know, that comes over time unless you're, you know, that phenomenon that comes in and, you know, uh are, are getting more money and endorsements than you can get in your rookie contract or, you know, whatever. But I don't think that it changes the situation. Creating that league that players can go to instead of going to college, I think it's going to depend on how many players move through the system. Because if it ends up being, I can't even get the scholarship because maybe I don't have the academics and I'm just going to go into the league, and then I wash out, and all we see is washouts, then nobody's going to want to go there because it's going to be – that's the washout league. Um, So it's interesting. Um, I I agree with the statements that, you know, the basically college in certain sports is like the minor leagues for the pros. Mm -hmm. Uh, And I 100 agree with you that, you know, the corporate – is a pro, mm-hmm. you know, and, and there's some, uh, um, you know, part of me that just says, Hey, you know, in tennis and golf, you know, you got people out there that are different ages and they, you know, you just get out there if you decide to do it and you, you know, you see what you can do. You know, if you're a prodigy in music, you can play at, you know, at the best place or with the greatest symphony because you're a prodigy. And some of, you know, like LeBron, basically he's, a, uh, you know, Kobe. They, these, they were prodigies. They were physical athletic prodigies. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, that <clears throat> because of a rule or, or rules or, or somebody wanting to control, you know, was a thing about, you know, stopping how much they could make. I see a thing pops up on, you know, my... Uh, uh, computer feed every now and again. So and so is the youngest billionaire. Ten year old kid out there's got some idea, did something, made a billion dollars. And nobody say he wasn't old enough to make a billion dollars. So you know, sometimes that age argument is bullshit. The only place I say that it is really not is in football, from the standpoint that I'm not putting my 14 year old son out there with a 23, you know, 25, 30 year old man. I don't care how far you can throw the football. I'm not doing it because that's a, a completely different set of circumstances that I think, you know, there needs to be a, a closer gap in, in that regard. Um, but I, I don't know. I mean, all I can say is, you know, the, the cop out, which is we'll see. I, I don't really necessarily, unless everybody buys into it the same way. And you know that the NCAA is not going to buy into it because that's potentially going to take um, athletes that would have been going to college, you know, in, into that league. But it is what it is. Yeah, I, uh, I think it was Carrie Champion, and she was saying that, um, you know, a lot of these other sports, golf and tennis, they have exemptions that they use for these people who want to go pro, pro and make money. So if you have a crop of talent, that's coming out of high school, you know, the ESPN top 100, which ESPN is also a culprit in this shit because you were showing fucking LeBron's games on, on TV. And then mm-hmm. you want to talk about how these kids shouldn't get paid. That's some bullshit. Y'all help build the hype. 
Y'all showing these top 100 kids coming out of high school, and then all of a sudden you're saying they got to go to college. Y'all, that's on some fuck shit that y'all doing. But um, if you have these exemptions, so let's say you got a class coming out, you got the top 100 or top 50, and then you have the coaches vote, and you assign points, and you say that only these five high school kids are eligible for the draft per our exemption rule. I still don't think it's right, but it gives you another way to do what you're trying to do to allow those rare talents because there was no reason for LeBron to have to go to college. We saw he came into the league and immediately was one of the best players in the league and took his team to the fucking playoffs the following year. Like that's crazy shit. It was a team that was trash. So, you know, the idea of exemptions or the idea of getting money to, to play, to do your profession right out of high school. I don't think that's bad. Um, looking at the chat, uh, T. Real Crawford uh, said that I remember when Maurice Claret, I remember that challenged the age rule, took so many L's during the process, and his career took a lot of L's too. Um, mm -hmm. The kid on my son's baseball team has major league people at his game sometimes, and he's only 13. I, I've told Caddy and I've told OG about one of my boys who was pitching and, and had people looking at him. You know, they come early. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I mean, they, they, you know. But does it work for every, you know, absolutely, you know, for for every sport is just not there. Yes, there are some develop <clears throat> developmental things for baseball in terms of, you know, if uh, the young man is a pitcher, you know, and the things that you can do to your arm, you know, trying to throw the ball as fast as some of these kids are throwing at at these young age is issues. But it's totally different when, like I said, you know, just visualize that 300 and whatever pound lineman, you know, squaring up. On your, you know, 165 pounds soaking wet 16 year old that's got a, a cannon for an arm. Yeah. And, and I don't even see how it's like if, if people who are making the age conversation, um, when you got these kids who are 14 and going to college and graduating with PhDs at 18 and shit like that, they're able to do that on the college level. And this is just the book shit which means that they're going to be able to make the money in their profession earlier as well. Right. Why the fuck is it so different for shooting the ball? Yeah. Warrior Blood says, uh, my only issue is uh, what position these brothers will be in with no education if injury hits. And I feel you, but the reality, from my perspective, uh, the reality for that is, is a chance you take. I mean, it's, you know, if you talk about in business, Absolutely. that rule of opportunity cost. Sometimes, if you don't take advantage of an opportunity, your cost is you missed out on whatever those things that were available to you. Uh, if you take advantage of an opportunity and it doesn't play the way that you expect it to, then you may lose, you know, on, on the other end. It, it's, it's a gamble. It is literally a crapshoot, you know, and I can't I can't really. However, I feel about education. Y'all know how I feel about that. That's never going to change. But I can't fought these young brothers and sisters for wanting to bet on themselves. I will even go a step farther to say that for all this talk about what about the education shit, and this is not at you, Warrior Blood, this is just in general. If education meant that much, these athletes wouldn't be required to practice and study playbooks and do all the shit they do for 10 hours a day. It wouldn't be required. The education is 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 a joke for a lot Absolutely. of these athletes. Absolutely. Because if, if you're a fucking, even if you're just a track athlete, the amount of practices and time you got to spend in the gym for you to be able to get something other than a communications degree or a business degree or something like that. You have to be exceptional, exceptional. Like you're already exceptional because you got there because of a scholarship, because of your skills. But then you have to be a whole nother level of exceptional to be able to study and keep your, your practice schedule. So it's not even it doesn't even make sense to me. It's just not fair. I, um, I got a quick question for you. Yeah, please do. All right. He just turned to the side because of the waves. Do you remember I remember seeing it, but I don't remember the name. But yes, I remember the shoe. Where did you see it at? Oh, that was Michigan's shoe. Exactly. Michigan Nike made bank. Yeah. When the Fab Five wore these shoes, do you know how much money that brought to the school and that brought to Nike? Every urban kid was wearing these with some black socks and some baggy shorts. Classic. You can't it change the game. It exactly. Changed the game, it bro. changed the way schools looked at student athletes because it was like, whoa, 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 whoa. 
kids is out here, you know, wearing their heads bald and wearing baggy basketball shorts and wearing wearing black socks with black sneakers. Mm -hmm. I've never, never seen anything like that. Changed the game. And it changed everything from there on out. So now it was like, wait, we got something here. You know, if we hook y'all up with some, we we hook y'all up with some good sneakers. We y'all come to the school, and we let y'all wear what y'all what y'all feel comfortable in. And y'all, you know, y'all can basically do what y'all want. Y'all ain't got to pay no tuition. You know, you stay here for a little bit, and and you know, and you got boosters who are like, you know, you stay there and I help you out, and you know, when I go to the league, I, you know, I'll throw you a little bit of money for your parents and. All you got to do is pay me back. But I'm just letting you know, the first sign of trouble, I got to throw you under the bus, all right? I got to throw you under the bus and be I gone. I got to throw you under yep. the bus. Yep. And, that, and that's that's what's happening. That's yep. what's happening. It, it changed. I'm glad you brought that up because it definitely changed just the, the shorts. Something as minor as the shorts, nigga. Mm -hmm. That changed. So, golly, that changed so much. Um I think Jamie White said that for tennis, if you go pro in tennis, they cap how many tournaments you can play. There's ways, so there's ways around it. And this is where I'm not going to use the analogy of slavery, right? But this is where the race, in my opinion, comes into the situation because it's basketball. Because it's a lot of black people play basketball. <laughs> because we know that this program and the football program make about 75, 80, in some schools, 90, 95% of our intake of money. This is why it looks this way. So um, interesting topic. We've been horned a long time ago, so we don't move <laughs> on from that shit. Uh, but no topic. Way to close that out with the Michigan talk. We appreciate that, Sneaker A. Smith. Thank you, you sir. You're welcome. Um, the next topic I want to talk about is just a general topic. Um, complex sneaker shopping where they, they get these athletes and celebrities and all in between and they go up to one of these overpriced ass sneaker stores in New York and they go and spend money. PJ Tucker just did an episode and he bought $16,900 worth of shoes. What do y'all think about this show if y'all watched it? You know, if, if there's one that stands out, do you think it's a good thing or a bad thing? In general, what do you think about the way that they set this show up? Oh, do you want to go first? Hey, man, you on a roll. I think the show is hype. Um, one of the episodes I watched is Michael B. Jordan when he was in the store, and they literally showed that they priced, gave him the wrong price of one of the shoes that he got. They mispriced one of the shoes he got, and then they said after, yeah, we mispriced them. Yeah, we made a mistake. So what that mean? Exactly. But, you know, that to somebody who's making millions, that's first world problems like, oh, OK. So wait, so they mispriced them how? They they charged them too much for the shoe. Oh, that's some bullshit. <laughs> and I believe it. I believe it was stadium goods. Oh, how I ironic it, is that? I believe it was stadium goods. But, you know, you look at that show and all your you you're telling young kids who maybe are just now getting into sneakers or who are, you know, watching other people or influenced by YouTube, they're watching this and they're thinking, oh man, you know, I got all the heat. I got to spend cash. I got to be, I got to be like, like PJ. Yeah. I got to get out here and, and make that money to, to get joints like that. And it's like, no, no, show me, show me actual real stores like, Image, image. Go. We're, you not, know. we're not sponsored by Image. We just really like Image. Yeah, like you go to a real store, like or like when you know OG goes to like Sneaker P or something like that. Like that's that's real sneaker shopping. That's real hunting when you go to these mom and pop stores. Here's a question. I'm looking at the comments. People are saying it's fake. They hate the show. Uh, they think it's foo foo. Do you think that those prices are what they're actually charging, or do you think that they, because it's a show that people get to watch, and because people are gonna get the pub, I gotta go to Stadium Goods. I gotta go to this. You know, I gotta go to Flight Club. Do you think that they're they're backdooring some of these? 
Like, you know, we're going to put it on the list and you might not even get that shoe, but we're going to put that on the list. Yeah, I, I think they're spending their money. Really? When the people in there, they don't, it don't matter. I mean, people already know PJ Tucker spends a crap load of money on sneakers and he's extremely disrespectful with his shit. Yeah, man. but they had Ric Flair on there. Which is Rick Ric Flair is not Ric Flair is not going into the store being like, you know, brother, I need those data rays right there. Woo! Like, Rick Flair's like, he get on there, you know. I remember when I had those growing up. We had these, you know, it's a great shoe. It's a great shoe. You know, I remember having this when I was coming up. It's a great shoe. You know, and then, you know, you're taking up willing, you know, I got my suit on, I got my Rolex and everything. Woo! You know what I'm saying? Rick Flair styling and profiling, baby. Yeah. It was the, the, the most cringiest shit ever. Um it's it's one of those I see it has a lane. It's interesting, I guess, to see what some of these guys pick up or whatever. Some of these women pick up to get the stories, but it's very light. Like it's not a real sneakerhead thing, in my opinion. If you're if you're a real sneaker fanatic, they're not saying shit that really matters. And they're not showing shit that really matters. And they're picking up shoes. Like the shoe shopping should be what we're watching. You know, when you were a kid and you were wearing, what was your favorite Jordan growing up? Uh, why do we care what uh, the little TV actor has to say about his favorite shoe? We don't We don't even watch his show. What show? What channels does this come on? Freeform. We don't know what the fuck this show is. But it's one of those things that people gobble up. Everybody's saying that it's fake. Neymar, the soccer player, was on there and dropped a nice chunk of change. I remember that, too. Ric Flair's are the outlier of life when it comes... <laughs> Losing coach daily. Good lord. Um black I hated that too, Black. I hated <laughs> that. I, I was mad at that shit. But in there buying his own fucking rebox. That's savage as shit right there. Cause it, it was somebody else was on there too. It was like they never actually had a pair of the shoe that was made for them, so they had to buy a pair and they bought it from the store. Well, that's that shit. that's kind of you know telling. Well, you're right about that, OG. You gave, <laughs> you know, gave us a little bit of that back. Yeah, behind the scenes. Yeah. Gave us a little bit of that behind the scenes. I mean, that's um, just the celebrity version of whatever it is you want to watch. You know, if you, well, I'm not going to even start talking about music. So, because that, you know, yeah, we don't want to lose the show. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to lose the show. I mean, so to me, is that. I mean, I actually, there's some people that I've seen on there. It's just interesting to me to watch to see kind of, what they like or you know yeah. some of them some of them but i like for it to be actual people that are in the sneakers i don't want it to be and that's just me that's not well, a requirement what I'm saying, sometimes there's been some people you don't necessarily know like they low-key got heat and you really didn't necessarily know that they was out there like that so so a shane mcmahon shane mcmahon would be perfect one. you don't really know that he's a sneakerhead but he's a mm -hmm. sneakerhead that was interesting to see but but they have fucking um what was so the movie Atlanta? What was old girl's name in Atlanta? Nunu. Oh, Lauren London. They had Lauren London on there. Watching the show, in my opinion, she wasn't really a sneakerhead. She don't really rock for sneakers like that. I'm, I'm just watching for Lauren London. <laughs> exactly. That's why I said it's, what it it's is. the celebrity thing. It's it's the cachet. It's no, it's because she's fine. It had nothing to do with. I don't even know. She's still Black on China on there. Yes. Like, bro, why? Wow. I don't know. Agree. I just uh Rams running back cop three pairs for twenty five hundred. Yeah, that was when they had um Gurley on there. Ty Gurley was on there. Mm -hmm. Uh he seemed like a sneakerhead too. When you have the athletes, it's an easy one. When you get into these celebrities, I this is just me. I would just rather for it to be somebody who's in the shoes because I'm a sneakerhead. I'm in the shoes like that. That's my gripe. That's why I put that on the list. We can move on. We've been buzzed anyway. Next. Um, there was a social experiment, and I don't want to pull up the whole article because there's a lot more to it. I'm gonna try and paraphrase so we can get through it quickly. There was a restaurant in Louisiana, and he he was he decided to try a social experiment, and he said, "Okay, I'm giving out numbers here. So let's say that my meal, that my standard meal that you order, is gonna be 15 bucks." And what he said is based on the demographics and the numbers. Black people in this area learn to earn two or three times less than their white counterparts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my meal that is normally 15 bucks, 
and I'm going to give black people and brown people the option to buy these shoes or buy these shoes to buy this meal for 10 bucks. I'm just throwing the numbers out there because I don't know what the actual number was. If you're black or brown, my meal is 15 bucks, but you can buy it for 10 bucks. And then if you're a white person, I'm going to present you the same information. My meal is $15, but I'm going to charge. I'm going to give you the option of paying $25 and I'm going to explain to you why. Because looking at this, black people make this in this area. Brown people make this. White people make this. I thought the experiment was interesting. Um, the results, he said that about 80% of the white people actually ended up paying the extra money. So they were confronted with the information. They were confronted with the data. They were confronted with the prices. And they went ahead and paid the up for the meal. Um, and he used that money to distribute within the community or whatever like that. I want to know, what did y'all think about the idea of the social experiment in general? OG, I would love to hear your opinion first on this, brother. I I wonder where the thought came from, to be honest with you. I, I understand what it's based upon. I... You don't feel good about it, though. I struggle with it. I get it. I understand the logic in it. Um, I guess I feel like that. I maybe I would feel better about it if I if I heard those people that pay the up, what they felt, um, why they chose to do it. And if they felt, if they said that they felt like, let's say, they felt they were guilted into it, and he could have just read off a script, but it just, um, and I don't necessarily know. How I feel that, that I, that I feel good about that because it was uh, genuine. You're saying, yes, okay. but um, I mean, it's it's absolutely interesting. It is, um, you know, it it, it 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 dovetails into all this discussion about those who have more can pay more or be more responsible, you know, for, for the least of these, um, so that, so that the entire body is whole. Um, yeah. and, and, you know, that I agree with, I, I wonder if I went to the place and he mm -hmm. gave me the spiel and I said, I want to pay the up. Does that upset the apple cart? Not because from my understanding, he gives you the option. Mm -hmm. So like for me, if, if I went there and it's $15, he says, you know, brother, you could pay $10 as a small business owner to a small business owner. I'm going to pay you the 15. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to take the less. I appreciate it, but mm -hmm. I'm not going to pay you less because you still got to make your nut. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not going to take that out. But if I'm standing next to somebody and this is presented, I would love to be part of that conversation. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, it's like charity instead of balancing the playing field without knowing without knowing their thoughts. Absolutely. It, it makes it it makes it interesting to see how that even, you know, because of the 80 percent, that means that 20 percent either didn't pay the up and or walk the fuck away from your trailer mad. <laughs> and and how do you deal with that? You know what I mean? Caddy, would you pay the up and what do you think of the idea? Well, not the up. Would you pay the discount? And what do you think about the idea? Um I probably would not pay the discount. Mm -hmm. Um my whole thing would have probably been if I would have heard his spiel and the first thing I would have been like, okay, so you're getting this extra money. Where is it going? Mm. Of like, are you donating this to help these communities? Are you, you know, doing something that's going to benefit the communities with this extra revenue? Because if you're not, then all you're doing is making extra money off of these people. That's all you're doing, too. That's what the way I'm seeing it. Um, so I would have been like, no, I'll pay my price. It was like I'll pay my regular price, you know. This is what you charge. It's like, oh, you know, you live in this area. Um, I'll I'll give it to you for ten. What's normal price? Fifteen. I'll pay the fifteen. I'm I'm good. But for the person that's gonna pay twenty twenty five dollars, what are you doing with that money? Because if you're not if you're not pushing it back in the community, then 
Mm-mm. That <laughs> um, I, I can't rock with it. I'm looking at Pop Pop Lewis Cave answer. He said, I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm paying that dime. He was like, damn, I thought Caddy was gonna pay the dime with me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so why do you put that stipulation on it? Like this, because this this part of it doesn't even concern you directly. You're saying that if it was another white person next to you or next in line and they were asked to pay the extra and they paid the extra, you would ask the, the vendor what he's doing with the extra money? Yeah. I mean, I'd be like, you know, you you're you have this experiment going on and you have these people paying extra based on, you know, the demographics in the area. So, you know, the area is, you know, poverty, uh, poverty stricken the area or whatever the case may be. And you're making money off of people who don't live in the area. I just feel like, OK, so if you're not donating this money back to the people in the area, what are you doing here? See, I don't know that I, I, I don't know that I give a shit. Like because uh, so so the area may not necessarily be poverty stricken. It could be middle class. Let's say it's middle class okay. in there, and the black family is making the average black family is making thirty five thousand, forty five thousand in this area, and that's okay. It could be in St. Louis, forty five thousand. Okay. You could live like a king in St. Louis. Of uh, so they're making forty five thousand, but then the average white person in the same area is making eighty thousand or ninety thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. So now I come up to here and, and he gives me these numbers and he's basing the number off of the college education opportunities. He's got all this data in front of me. As far as I'm concerned, when I look at shit like Bank of America just got done having to pay, a, what was a $2 billion buyout for uh, a lawsuit because they were charging minorities more. We saw the same shit happen with Chase Bank. We saw the same shit happen with Wells Fargo. We saw the same shit happen with real estate companies. So if, if this is what we're talking about, I understand the idea of him doing that, regardless of what he does with the extra money, because we can see in this country that based on the color of your skin, you are afforded certain opportunities that I'm not going to get, period. Mm -hmm. And you're allowed certain free freedoms that I'm not going to have, period. So I get it. What he does with that extra money is none of my business because it's not extra money out of my pocket. That's what they decided to pay. So I'm like, all right, that's on you. I I'm not going to trip. Um, Bug Eye City Soul said, if someone differentiates based on race, I'm not sure I would spend my money. That's fair. That's well, fair. You do realize that that happens every day. And that's, this and is. you are spending money with people that are differentiating because of race. And that's where I am with it. That's why it doesn't bother me as much. Would I run my business like that? I don't believe so because it's not something I'm interested in running my business on. That's not a principle that I'm interested in running my business on. But understanding that this shit happens, just even if you talk about car insurance, if you give them a certain zip code, your insurance is going to be different than it is a different zip code. Absolutely. And I've seen this shit happen firsthand when I moved in the same city. I moved from one area where my insurance was higher, where it was more black and brown people. I moved to an area where it was more white people. Not necessarily safer because I saw the cops the same amount of time. My insurance dropped like twenty or thirty dollars a month. That shit happens. That shit happens, and, and I think it's it's funny how people react and feel different when you're presented with race as opposed to when you're dealing with race because those are two different things. You know what I'm saying? It's it's interesting. Um, what is what is the chat saying on here? Uh, T. Real said, without hearing his actual spiel, being offered a discount, I don't think I would analyze it that deep. I think the guy was just looking out and I would appreciate it. So, and, and I, I I would imagine, I mean, I'll speak for myself. I've been in a situation where somebody just gave me the low. Yo, how much is this brother? Hey, man, for you, I give it to you two for 20. Oh, thanks. And I've taken that. But now, depending on the situation, when I was just in Houston, um, it took them a little bit longer to check me into my hotel. They was having issues with the computer and I was grabbing something from the little kitchen that they have there while I was waiting. And when I got to the desk, he was like, all right, cool. I said, I, I need to put this on my room. He was like, don't worry about it. Take it. And I said, whoa, what are we doing here? Bro? Can I get this in writing? Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what the jig is, bro. I don't know what you're doing. It definitely, the, the, the context of the person offering and the reason that they're offering definitely makes you 
look at things different, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, what did it just say? Uh, folks flat out like that. I'm not messing with it. We know it happens, but unless it's spelled out, we can't react. Okay. Did the buzzer buzz? Yeah. Okay. Let's move on. I'm trying to understand that. I, yeah, I don't even understand. Mm. Next topic. Oh, okay. I get what he's saying now. Um, well, yeah. I mean, like I just said. So if so, let's let's say this real quick. I say this part, and then I move on. OG. If you understand right now that Bank of America just fought, got settled a lawsuit because they charge black people more money, and you still bank with Bank of America. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> That's not a fix. That's saying you found us out. Here you go. That doesn't mean we're not going to do it again. That just means here's some money to leave us alone. Uh, but I thought the social experiment was pretty interesting. Um, Caddy had this story on here, I think a week or so ago, we were supposed to talk about this, uh, based on the bread toe release, I believe it was. Uh, yes, 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 it was. We're- Talking about bad release stories, uh, release stories that make you want to get out of the game. And I kind of added this on here if we got time. What do you think about the Pulse releases? That's what I'm using. I don't know if that's the actual term. What, what do you think about the Pulse releases that they're doing this year? Because the Royals been sold out twice. There's been a restock. The breads, the bread toes have been sold out, and there's been two or three restocks. What's, what's your bad story, and what do you think about those releases in general, brother? Um. All right. So my bad story would probably be concords um i the night the concords came out i was at my house and i was online and trying to get them online and everything was crashing jimmy jazz was crashing and i'm you know finish line was crashing so i decided you know what i need to figure out what store i need to go to so I jump in my car, it's about three o'clock in the morning and I'm driving around the city and I'm driving by Foot Lockers to see what the lines are looking like. And I go to 42nd Street, crazy line. I go down to NYU, there's a Foot Locker by NYU, crazy line. So I said, screw this, I'm going to another state. So I go to New Jersey and I drive over to Hoboken. Now, OG, you know how Hoboken is and how tight the streets are and all that. No doubt, no doubt. So I go to Bergen Line Avenue and I'm looking at the Foot Locker on Hoboken and the line is crazy. Um, one of my uh, boys, he has a shop called BX Sports and they had one in um, New Jersey. And I go to his store and <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, we got the chat. The nigga T Real said he gave 80 million, 80,000 to uh, Morehouse. And then he said, just to be clear, we're talking about student loans. <laughs> 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 Hilarious. Go ahead, Caddy. My bad. <laughs> so, so I go to this. I go to the store, and I'm standing online. It's now five o'clock in the morning, or well, about four forty-five in the morning. And it's raining, and I'm standing on this line, and there's about seven kids in front of me, and I'm like, "All right." So these kids are like, "Hey, bro, there's only eleven pairs of shoes." Now, mind you, I'm the only black guy online because Hoboken in that area is more uh, Latin, um, more Latin based. Right. So I'm standing on this line, I'm like, all right, cool, but y'all are all young, y'all don't wear my size. What size are you? I'm not telling y'all. Right, the gag is. Yeah, so I'm standing on this line and now six o'clock turns to 10 o'clock and they open the store and they announced they only got 10 pairs of shoes. So I'm like, well, I'm number eight in line or number nine in line. So I should be good. They they let a, a cop walk in before us. They let another guy walk in before us. So now we like, wait a minute. So now that's eight pair of shoes. Mm-hmm. Oh, this can't be good. But wait, there's, there's young kids on the line. You know, they kid sizes. I, I'm still good. Right. So these kids walking in and they getting shoes and they getting shoes and they getting shoes. And now I'm the next in line. 
And they said, we only got one size left. We got a size 12. They announced it? Yeah. Okay. So now I'm standing at the door, and all of a sudden, here comes the circle. Yo, 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 yo. And I'm like, yo, I'm next in line. So now I'm getting to the point I'm pushing people. And <laughs> wow. I'm like, yo, out the way. Out the way, clown. Out the way. Yo, I was next. Out the way. The New York so, is coming out. <laughs> yeah, because now I'm getting tight. And, you know, concords make you do stuff. So yeah. I'm like, nah, I'm, I'm next. This little old lady comes up in the line, and she got tears in her. Little old Spanish lady, she comes over there and she's like, No me gusta, no me gusta. No. And she whispers to the guy in his ear, like, No me gusta, no, you know, my grandson. And, and they're like, And she's like, Oh, I was next in line. And they let her in the store. And she got the last size 12. And the guy behind me, black guy, he was the only other black guy on the line. He's like, damn, that's fucked up, bro. <laughs> what you gonna do, bro? That's messed up. That's really fucked up, B. Like, that old lady ganked you for your shoes, bro. <coughs> How you feel about that, my nigga? That's crazy. <laughs> he put all the extra on it. And you know, and you hear it in your head and you tight it because you see this little old lady with this cane in the store getting shoes. And then she walk out and she not even really using the cane no more. And she walked back out to the car like, ah, I got eight. And I'm like, yo, oh, this lady just walked away with the size 12. You know, you got the people in the front like, yo, if you ain't get your pants, got these Concords 350, got them right here with size you need. I got all sizes. But I'm still standing at this old lady. Damn, son. Yeah, that's exactly how I was Damn. feeling. Like, Damn. <laughs> oh, man, and you know, and people are beefing. They like, yo, yo, that's messed up. This, that, that. And I'm standing there, and I'm like, everybody's beefing around me, and I'm just standing there like, Damn, son. <laughs> Don't you let it be. Lady, a boiler robbed me. A boiler got me. Damn, a boiler. Like yeah. it was, it was crazy. And I remember driving home, driving back to Queens. I'm going through the Lincoln Tunnel and I'm cursing. Oh, bitch, that took my shoes. I'm up there. I'm in like tight, Tyrese tight. Like, I'm driving from city to city. I'm standing out here in the rain. I probably got pneumonia. What more do you want from me? Like, <laughs> bro, in like that moment, it almost made me be like, I quit. I quit. I'm done. I don't want shoes. I don't want shoes. Doesn't it feel good to pay less? I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm ready to throw some Al Harrington's. I'm, I'm <laughs> super yeah. tight. And all I could think about was this little Spanish lady dancing with the concourse, like, suave lente, that's fine, <laughs> Like, I was tight. I, I, it's hard to follow up that story uh, to even talk about that. I, I had the opposite reaction. So when the... Um, the Legend Blue 11s or the Columbia 11s, whatever the fuck you want to call them, holiday release came out. I ordered those on Nike.com. I, and this is my first time in a long time trying to get into the shoe game like that. And this actually was started this shit back there. So I done woke up early. I got my cell phone out. I got my laptop out. I got my wife's laptop out. And I got my computer. I, and I got the work computer up because I know how it's going to go. So I'm up. Boom, boom, boom. I'm hitting all up. Boom, boom, boom. I'm looking. Strike out, strike out, strike out, strike out. I got one on my phone. It hit. It said I got him. Yes. Now, I had been up because I think it was actually on the finish line. So I had been up half an hour, 45 minutes, study refreshing to try to get this shit. Finally got through on finish line. I'm good. Yes. Finally done. I'm chilling. I'm off for the day. Come Tuesday, Wednesday. Ain't got no tracking confirmation yet. Hey, what's up with that tracking? <laughs> it's coming. It says processing, so you're good. It's coming. All right. Come Friday. Hey, where's my tracking? Well, if it doesn't ship out by tomorrow, then we'll research it some more, but we got seven days. All right. Following Monday, got nothing. 
called. I'm going to escalate this issue because it still says processing. Oh, damn. I knew then. It still says processing. No, 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 no. It's been over a week. Finally got somebody on the phone. Yeah, there was a mistake. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. Mm. So now I'm mad. It's the shoe that I wanted. I done sat up and waited. I've been excited about this shoe for over a week. Now I'm like, all right, fuck it. Give me my money back. Well, we can't do that either. Oh, hell no. Nah. Now we got beef. Now we got beef. So they, all they can do is wait for the shit to fall off. They can't refund it. And they can't release the funds. It has to wait for it to fall off. So now they call my credit card. And they're like, well, they, they have to release it. So now I got these two motherfuckers on the phone. And nobody's telling me shit. So now I ain't got my shoes. And I ain't got my money. It had the opposite effect on me, though. Instead of saying, fuck this shoe game, I ended up with this shit back here. I, I kind of vowed. I went the opposite way and said that I'm not going to miss a pair of shoes that I fucking want anymore. Oh, he went, I had a tiger. <laughs> I went, I had a tiger, bro. And I've been pretty good. I've missed on some releases, obviously. But it, it just strengthened my resolve to go after the shit I want for real. Um, so I went the opposite way. But it definitely, for a split second, I was like, fuck all this shit. Delete all that shit. <laughs> Delete all that shit. I was done with it. What about you, OG? I have no story that compares to either one of those, to be honest with you. Um, however, All Star Ones, uh, you all probably know my daughters go in and out of sneakers, so they. Mm -hmm. They fell out of love and they wasn't trying to get these kicks anymore. So I wore my all star ones and here comes my daughter. Oh, daddy, I she does, she's good for this. Three years later, oh, I want that shoe. Can can you can you can you call somebody? Can you can you call Mr. Jumpman? Can you can you call somebody and just you know magically make this shoe appear? I really like it. Okay, all right, so I'm Going around, I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find. They had a restock. Mm -hmm. I get the shoe. When the shoe comes in, I'm not here. So the box comes, I'm traveling something. Daddy, is a box here? It has your name on it, but I think it might be my shoes. Can I open the box? Sure, no problem. So... She opens the box, and about an hour later, uh, Daddy, I, um, it wasn't my shoe. Oh, okay. I thought it was. Maybe I ordered something I, I didn't know. I said, okay, all right. She says, no, 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 no. You don't understand what I mean. It's not my shoe. What the hell are you talking about? I said, well, take a picture of the box. Click. Picture of the box. This is Jordan 1. Okay. Those are your shoes. What is the problem? I, I know I didn't order. Okay. Open the box up and show me what's in. It's all-star sixes in wow. a Jordan 1 box. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Wow. So now you got my money. I got a, a Jordan 1 box, but no Jordan 1s. And it's a restock on a shoe that you can't get no more. Who, what store was this? This was Nike, dog. Yeah. Shit. I mean, <laughs> this was the store. Even the buzzer was like, shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, holy shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I, I, was, I was some kind of hot. Some kind of hot. Of course, you know, well, sir, there's nothing we can. I know there's nothing you can do. Yeah, <laughs> Nike's is the they worst. They're the worst at fixing their fuck ups. But, but for five minutes, they was trying to play me like. How do he was we... lying. Yeah. How do we know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, this is what we gonna do? Okay. Yeah. No. Nah, um. 
I'm going to be that guy like the oh, post. Chicago, Chicago VC. <laughs> Chicago Vince on the phone, boy. Pat, pat, pat. Y'all going to eat him. <laughs> EAD. EAD. <laughs> I'm uh, going to Georgetown. That, that's what I, I'm, I'm headed there right now. Uh, let's get into the chat. Uh, we made it through most of our topics. There's only one more. We'll say that for next week. It's not a problem with that. Uh, let's get into the chat. Is there anything that y'all wanted us to talk about? Any questions you have? I know we didn't get our releases. Um, I forgot to do the releases. Okay, did you get the releases together? Y'all want to yeah, do the releases? or Y'all want to get through these releases or y'all want to holler at the chat real quick? Man, let's just get on, in on the chat and keep it moving. I mean, if right. maybe if there's a couple things that you want to highlight. Uh, yeah, we can speak through it real quick. All right. All right. You got it. Damn. I see a lot of thumbs down this week, too. If y'all got suggestions on how we could be better, let us know. If you're just hating, then that's cool. Uh, let us know you're hating. All right, real quick. Nike PG2 NCAA March Madness. Next. Yeah, that's definitely a skip. Was it? Is this the sweater Jordan on the bottom? Yeah, like the sweater sevens on the bottom. I'm good. <laughs> uh, the Nike Kyrie four black metallic silver and orange. Lazy next. Mm-hmm. The Nike Air Max two seventy Tiger. Bro, I want to try these shoes on just to see what they feel yeah. like. I don't want to buy them, but I'm I'm afraid to try them on because I'm afraid they'll feel magical and then I'll have to buy them. Um, if I'm gonna buy a color, it would probably be this one. That all black one is tough, though. Have you seen the all black? Yes, yes. <laughs> that motherfucker's tough. I, and I did see what y'all were talking about. Where I seen this kid yesterday who had these yeah. on. The back of that is built like an old church woman. Like that, <laughs> that shoe just sticks. <laughs> does not have a nice ass, bro. It does Excuse not. me, baby. I'm sorry. Oh, oh the Johnson. Just excuse me. Air it up the pool. Like trying to get over here to get to the collection plate. Like uh, crazy. Up next. All right, sweat. The triple what was black. That? Oh, nigga, if you don't get this shit the fuck off my screen right now. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> For the little kids. For the kitties. Ooh. Uh, we have the Nike Lil Posit Space Jam. I mean, it's cute and all, but that shape is terrible. Yeah, you know, that's that kid shape. That, <laughs> that shit is so ugly. That's that dyslexia shape. That's <laughs> <laughs> CEO. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's bad, bro. What you think, OG? Mm-mm. <laughs> Colorway might be dope, but. Mm-hmm. Up next, we have the Reebok Question Mint Glow. Mm. It's a nice summer shoe, but I ain't buying that shit. Yeah, I like these for the summer. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't scooping. That's that up, questionable. Though. If I can get them for a discount, yeah, which will happen. They always go on discount. Adidas Pharrell NMD HU Trail Holy, holy hell, no! Nah. Next, <laughs> I'm so Just tired of those shoes. Using for the flip. Up next, yeah. the Jordan Thirty Two Pure Platinum. No, so this is great. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> and Just want finally, to be sure. And finally, the Air Jordan 10, I'm back. Why, Sway? The pictures don't, like, I've seen the on-feet pictures of these. They're not bad looking. I'm not buying them, but they're not, they don't look bad on feet. Now, I got to ask this question. Was it KB, were you the one who has this? Does he have a picture on his Instagram with these on? I would believe it's KB Fresh Kids. I believe it was KB. And if it was KB, I'm not even going to lie. I believe it was his picture that made me go, I need those. And this is what I mean by motherfuckers take pictures that be. Oh, yeah. But did you read the storyline? It's like, I, I don't give a shit about the story. Them shit's God. clean. Did you not see KB's picture? I didn't. And I'm going to make sure that I don't. <laughs> Damn, OG. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to get, you know, he yeah, was like, I'm like, I need them now. I must have them. No, I don't, I don't need that in my life. I don't KB know. said it wasn't him. Uh, I don't know who had the picture, but somebody had the picture of these joints on, and I was like, Lord Jesus. By the way, KB, I'm going to need you to put the camera down because your pictures make me want to go buy shit. I didn't want those tinkers until I saw them in your hand, and I was like, no. Jamie yeah, White says, Will these sell out? Hmm. 
I it's so it's kind of hard to tell nowadays with these releases because are they ever really sold out? Like I don't think the bread sold the bread toes. I don't think the Royal Twelve sold out. Well, you I just Royal Thirteens. You, you know, you were saying about what you call these pulse releases or whatever. Yeah. But I I do recall. <laughs> I think it was T Real who said that they're not really planned. <laughs> he it's, said, "I'm back to return these." It's um <laughs> yeah. It, I, I no, I feel that. That's that was D S D S Dan. Sorry, go ahead. That they don't clear customs. So all at the same time, and that's why you get these staggered, oh, we got a few more, oh, we got a few more, oh, we got a few more. But it wasn't happening last year. Why is it happening this year? Yeah, it did. You had a bunch of stuff that restocked a zillion times. You did. It seems it like make me shoe. call a shoe, but it did. No, no. I mean, I'm not, I know that we had some stuff that restocked. No, I'm like 96 is restocked a couple of times. More than a couple, and the we and the win like eighty twos. Hell, the win like eighty twos restocked this year. <laughs> true, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah maybe that true. is what it is. I don't know. Yeah, they hit you with these staggered releases, like like they're giving out the shirts at the basketball game. Like, pow, 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 pow. all right, we'll do it again second quarter. Pow, 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 pow. So you guys are a lot more forgiving than me. I think that they're doing this shit on purpose to make you think that it's sold out, and that when they do a restock, you have to cop them. I well, feel like they're doing that shit intentionally. So either way, if you want the shoe, it's your second bite, right? Yeah, but you would sit last year. Like some shit restocking, you would wait because you knew the shit was gonna go down. It's going to the outlet. Yeah, it's still going to the outlet. Uh, like because the what like the the uh dunk from above. Those restocked three or four times and they were sitting in the outlet for a minute. No, right? I'm not I'm not even gonna lie. I thought those Taco Bell nines were going to the outlet. Taco Bell nines. Some food service nines to just drop late shift nines. I thought they were going to the outlet, uh, the NYCs. No, nah, the black, yeah. not the, the black and red joints. I thought they were. Oh, going to okay. The I'm sorry. I'm thinking about the tens. Yeah, yeah. No, I thought they were too, and then they they sold out. Yeah, when I saw those sell out, I was like, "What?" Yeah, like it. It was just like, "What? What are you doing, baby?" Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Buying this. Yeah, I, I don't get it. Dog said that those would be a good shoe to customize because of the blank canvas. Yeah, I can see that. Um, and they're getting full price and not the sale price. Yeah, I mean, that's what you got to do. Like, I when I thought about those, um, those 13s, I was like, is this a shoe that I want that bad that I'll pay the full price for? And I told you on the show when we did the release that that's probably one that I was going to pull the trigger on because I just like that colorway. And when I got them, I was happy that I got them. And then I turned around and sold something else out of the collection to make room for them. Do what you got to do, man. Um, what else y'all got in the, in the chat? Y'all got anything else for us in the chat? We actually gonna let y'all go home at a reasonable time this time. The W two nines. <laughs> you right about that, KB? Tax season nines, just like those twelves. <laughs> Don't talk about my nines, Caddy. <laughs> but listen, <laughs> listen, I'm sorry. I saw those shoes and I would, I just knew they were gonna sit. I just but knew. Buckeye City Soul has some on with the red leather laces. The leather laces do offset that patent leather. They yeah. don't look bad. I still wouldn't buy them, but they don't look bad with that with the with the leather laces. Buckeye's a sneaker booster, though. I can't can't trust Buckeye. Yeah, all his pictures is <laughs> Buckeye's like a sneaker booster, like those people in college. Like he's <laughs> Buckeye's out here, like hey, hey, you 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 like Jordans? What are you gonna, gonna do? You know what I'm doing? I'm gonna show you this this bread nine. I know a lot of people are calling these the Apple B nines because people are wearing this on their shift. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm gonna throw this. I'm gonna throw these leather laces in there, and you're like, oh shit, those shit is popping. That shit is Come popping. To the dark side. <laughs> Come and live lavishly on the side with the bag. Exactly. Uh, Come put these food service nines. On. <laughs> uh, Trey Jackson said the animal pack. Um. I think we were all in agreement. The animal pack was kind of like eh, overdone. It was a little overdone. No, nope, uh, I said I wanted it. I was which one? The only one. Either one. Okay. I'd um, probably take the the ones before the. Or was it? Is it a ninety or a, or um Air Max one? I think it was both. I think there was a ninety and a one. Or is it ninety five and a one? It's a ninety five and a one. Yeah. And a one. I, I prefer the one over the ninety five, but I would. Probably... 
I almost copped the pair today, but I remembered that I had the Bo Jacksons back there, the Safari Bows. And I was like, yeah, there's no need to get that one because oh, yeah. I already got the shoe. Yeah. It's the same shoe. It's the same colorway, same split. Yeah, so that's like Air mine. Safari that's on um on Sneakers app. I thought about that yeah. too. I was like, nah, I'm good. I can't wait to see uh, people pull those off, though. Um, it should be interesting to see how they pull that shit off. Well, you so about to that with the hoodie. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he's going for. You can already see it. That's why he's going out in the streets like, rawr, rawr, rawr. what's going on, Tangerine? Tony the Tiger. Rawr. <laughs> uh, KB Fresh Kick said, What size you need, OG? I need uh, 11 and a half or 12. Um, if it's tight in the toe box, I need a 12. Um, Jamie yeah, White said, thousand dollars. So a story that the Sean Wetherspoons may not be as limited as expected. I'm really ready for them just to release that shoe. I feel like this shoe has been one of the most drama-full releases. Just get it done, get it over with, so we can move on with our lives. T Real said, "What did y'all think about that cheetah LeBron that LeBron wore?" Caddy, you speak on that first. I know LeBron's your man's. Oh my God! I need those. Oh. Wait, 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 wait! You would trash those the Air Max, but you would you would need need the LeBron. So you prefer the Leopard over the over the Tiger? Is that what yes. you did? Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I need, I, need, I need the Peggy Bundy LeBron. I need those. <laughs> oh, to me, it's the like, Peggy you know, Bundy LeBron. Same neighborhood, different block. But it's exactly. Like, oh, I need those Peggy Bundys. <laughs> I can do the safaris, but I can't do the fucking cheetahs and lions and tigers and bear. I can't. I can't do that. I can't. It's not my steez. I can't pull it off. But nobody's gonna say shit to Caddy wearing those shoes. Caddy's fucking six foot you two. You need a cheetah girl LeBron's. I need those. <laughs> fucking Caddy can wear some cheetah goddamn spandex pants. And they'd be like, well, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. You, you're trying to have me out here looking crazy. Wait a minute. Spandex. You're trying oh, to have spandex. me out here looking like a single mother. No. <laughs> Got me out here looking like Nikki Parker, like, hey, Pasasa. Like, no. <laughs> I think this is it, man. Let's get up out of here. Caddy, say shout out to the people. I will go next and then we'll let OG close it out, bro. My people, as always, much love to y'all. Thank y'all for coming in to the Hype Beast Community Baptist. AME Church of God in Christ Cultural Center. Yes. We thank you. We we, we praise y'all. God bless y'all. See you next Wednesday. Praise God. <laughs> it's your man Be a Jedi Man, aka the Black Alice B. Keaton. It's been it's been a good week. I don't know what to say. It's been a good week. I got my flints. I got my spizikes. I got my royals. I got something coming on the way. I got oh, my Bishop high way. Man, yeah, help is on the way for me. Y'all might not be hyped about it, but it's a shoe that I've been talking about since the release, since before the release. So it's been a good run for me, man. Thank y'all for rocking with us. Uh, we appreciate y'all. Thank you for the people that liked and disliked the video. Good conversation, man. We'll be back next week. Next week will be the last episode of season three, and then we'll be off for two weeks. <laughs> And then if we get cleared, we'll come back for another season. And if not, it's been real. And we'll leave that for y'all to chew on and, and digest. Are they really leaving? Are they really coming back? Talk about it amongst your friends. We'll be, we're out of here. We'll talk to you next week. Family, you're done, no. It's your boy, OG Sneakers. I got a new video coming. And the video, it going to explain everything I'm doing with sneakers or not doing with sneakers. Because maybe I won't even be back for season four. I may be gone and maybe an empty chair right here. This black ass will be back for season four. There is no season four. We had a great time tonight. Appreciate y'all. Always appreciate y'all rocking with us. Uh, we rock with you. And uh, that's just the way it is. So until next week. Good night. And God bless. Make sure y'all checking out each other's channels, man. A lot of y'all got channels. Post up, man. Support each other.